good morning students today we are going to learn how to write uh, energy balances in uh, heat exchangers before start writing the energy balance we should assume certain things many heat exchangers are uh, well insulated so that we assume that there won't be any heat exchange between heat exchanger and ambient air that means compared to the quantity of uh, heat that is transferred between hot fluid and uh, cold fluid the quantity of heat that is transferred uh, between the insulated heat exchanger and ambient air is uh, negligible that is one assumption and another uh, assumption is uh, uh, the because the fluids are moving uh, within the heat exchangers so that is uh, the potential energy kinetic energy and these are uh, neglected compared to the quantity of energy that is transferred between uh, hot fluid and uh, cold fluid so we will start writing the energy balances energy balances in the heat exchangers so after assuming uh, these things uh, we can uh, write the expression for the quantity of heat that is transferred that is in terms of uh, enthalpy we can write that is m dot into hb minus ha q is the quantity of heat transferred and what is m dot the notation i write here q is equal to quantity of heat input heat input that is um, this is uh, quantity of heat input and we follow the McCabe and uh, Smith that is unit operations of chemical engineering by McCabe and Smith that notation we follow we are using Q in uh, many mechanical engineers also uh, study heat transfer they follow some other textbooks uh, so they are now in place of uh, Q they uh, use capital Q but in our notation Q is equal to Q by T that is uh, rate of heat transfer rate means rate includes uh, time that is quantity of heat that is transferred per unit uh, time that is like uh, units are say one example unit we take uh, kilo calories per hour this is rate of heat transfer so quantity of heat input to the heat exchanger that is Q and uh, M dot is equal to mass flow rate m dot is equal to mass flow rate of the stream this is for one given stream for one stream we can write like this q is equal to flow rate of the stream what is the unit of this mass flow rate say kg per hour then what is uh, ha ha is uh, enthalpy Enthalpy is uh, per unit mass only we take. So, enthalpy per uh, unit mass of entering fluid. Of entering fluid. Here, A always indicates in our notation entering conditions. So, entering fluid enthalpy per unit mass. Enthalpy is nothing but again we are recalling nothing but heat content. The quantity of heat that is transferred per unit mass. Its units are uh, say you can say kilo calorie per kg. Quantity of heat that is transferred per unit mass that is enthalpy. And similarly Hb is enthalpy per unit mass of leaving fluid of leaving fluid okay so q equal to m dot in this for one stream we can write now the same uh, equation we rewrite for uh, hot fluid and then uh, cold fluid uh, separately so for hot fluid on the cold fluid we will write first shall we write for cold fluid for cold fluid we can write QC is equal to this Q becomes QC, M dot becomes M dot C and HB becomes HCB. 
cold fluid outlet temperature minus HA becomes HCA. This is the quantity of heat that is gained by the uh, cold fluid that is heat input we can write here. QC is equal to heat input heat input to cold fluid QC. Q units are always same like this only. Then M dot C is mass flow rate of cold fluid. Mass flow rate of cold fluid. And HCA is what? HCA is enthalpy of enthalpy per unit mass. Enthalpy per unit mass of entering cold fluid. Entering cold fluid. Okay. And similarly, HCB is uh, enthalpy per unit mass of uh, leaving cold fluid. Leaving cold fluid. Okay. So, this is uh, the heat input to the cold fluid. Next, we will write for hot fluid. We will write for hot fluid. Okay. So, for hot fluid, QH, we say QH is equal to M dot H into HHB minus HHA. Like this we can write. Why actually HHA is greater than HHB actually. We can't say like this uh, lower minus higher we can't say. But why we are writing is QH we are defining as heat input. Heat input to hot fluid. But actually what is happening here? But actually heat is lost by hot fluid. Heat is lost by hot fluid. Therefore Q becomes minus QH. Therefore QH becomes minus QH. Now, energy balance, if you write, energy balance in heat exchanger, we can write like this. QC is equal to minus QH. This is energy balance. QC is what? Heat added. Heat gained by cold fluid. Heat gained by cold fluid and this is heat lost by hot fluid. Heat lost by hot fluid. Therefore, what is QC here? M dot C into HCB minus HCA is equal to this is minus QH is equal to M dot H into HHA minus HHB. This is energy balance in a heat exchanger. Okay. Let it be equation 1. This energy balance is in terms of enthalpies. Okay. This energy balance is in terms of enthalpy balance. We will also write the energy balance in terms of uh, heat capacities that is specific heats. In terms of uh, specific heat we can say QC is equal to M dot C CPC into 
TCB minus TCA and heat lost heat lost we are saying that is minus QH heat lost heat lost is equal to M dot H CPH into THA minus THB because THA is uh, greater than THB higher minus lower only therefore energy balance is like this now Q is equal to you can also write Q is equal to M dot C CPC into TCB minus TCA is equal to M dot H into CPH into THA minus THB. Let it be equation 2. So equation 2 is also in terms of uh, specific heats, energy balance in a heat exchanger. And what is M dot C? All these things we have defined except CPC and uh, uh, CPH. So we will define CPC here. That is the specific heat of cold fluid. Specific heat of cold fluid. Uh, this uh, specific heat or heat capacity of the cold fluid here uh, in it because it depends on temperature then at what temperature we need to take that is the doubt we will get so in the range of uh, in the range of what is the range of cold fluid here in the range TCA to TCB in this range we need to take CPC that means depending on the problem and depending on the information we have sometimes we will be given heat capacity at TCA, heat capacity at TCB. Then we need to take the arithmetic average of those two heat capacities. Okay. Or another way of taking the CPC is um, uh, take arithmetic average of these two temperatures TCA plus TCB by 2 and uh, take heat capacity of the, the cold fluid at that arithmetic average temperature. And CPH, CPH is specific heat of cold fluid, specific heat of, oh, sorry, hot fluid specific heat of hot fluid that that is in the range of what then in the range THA to THB same explanation comes here sometimes we take depending on the data so these are the two different forms of uh, energy balances in heat exchanger if you check the units here now what is m dot uh, sample unit i am writing here so kg per hour and this is what enthalpy difference enthalpy is kilocalorie per kg okay same thing here also so kg kg you will have a kilocalories per hour this is nothing but q only isn't it so this kilocalories per hour is the unit of q so you should check whether the units are tallying or not the consistent units you need to write and similarly here also you can now check the units here what is q here and this here we write this is kg per hour into heat capacity that is here kilo calorie per kg per kelvin into kelvin this is the unit of cpc and this is the unit of Kelvin, is the unit of temperature difference. And this is the unit of M dot C. So if you check the units now, cancel out the units here, you will get a kilocalorie per hour. Okay. This is nothing but unit of Q. Same here. Like that unit should be consistent. So these are the two energy balance equations we have to use in heat exchangers. Uh, how, uh, what is the application of these uh, uh, equations? Suppose that uh, which equation uh, is to be selected to use to solve the problems is 
depends upon the data given. Suppose in uh, one problem, uh, enthalpies of all the four enthalpies are given. Usually enthalpy data is da data books only from heat transfer data books. Uh, enthalpies of all the fluids uh, at different temperatures either in the form of tables or in the form of uh, graphs they are available. So these are usually data only. So one mass flow rate will be given the other mass flow rate to you need to calculate that is one type of problem and in another type of problem here heat capacities will be given given me again these are data only available in uh, uh, heat transfer data books and all the four temperatures tca tcb th thb all four temperatures will be given and it will be asked to calculate what amount of heat is transferred per unit time between hot fluid and cold fluid that is q Q will be your calculation or sometimes in another type of problem Q will be given to you that is fixed by the engineer that means to transfer say some 2000 kilocalories of heat per hour from hot fluid to the cold fluid what should be the temper inlet temperature of the cold fluid we need to take or if you take this much inlet temperature what will be the outlet temperature like that out of all these things one will be kept unknown then uh, suppose four temperatures are there three temperatures will be given in the problem and the q also will be given sometimes uh, and they are, it can be calculated using some other expression like q equal to ha dt or ua delta t ln like that then we can calculate the fourth temperature that we will see next in when solving problems we apply these energy balance equations thank you